I'm Chukuri Azi. I am the section head of the high temperature and pressure experiment section in the advanced reactor directorate. So this experiment is a molten salt storage experiment using two tank storage system. Typically, energy can be stored either as electricity or uh, thermal or chemical. In this case, uh, we're looking at thermal storage. And the reason for thermal storage is in some cases, the demand side or what you're going to use your energy for is heat. So heat and thermal are synonymous. Ideally, you store your energy as heat if you want to use it as heat. You can store your, your heat at several temperatures. You can store it at uh, low temperatures, moderate temperatures, or high temperatures. And these are called grades of heat. So low, medium, and high grade of heat. Molten salt storage is considered medium grade heat which means it stores heat at 250 degrees Celsius to about 600 degrees Celsius. So the overall project looks at the whole spectrum from high grade to low grade heat. For high grade, we're looking at sand. This particular experiment is looking at molten salt. And then for the lowest grade heat, we're looking at concrete. So the molten salt storage is important for uh, several reasons. Um, one is there's certain demand that requires medium grade heat. And that uh, things like steel industry work, um, generating electricity. Um, typically, you want to be in the medium grade heat um, scale. To measure flow distribution in the salt tanks, we'll be using um, some new techniques, and one of these is fiber optic sensors. Um, the interesting thing about fiber optic sensors is it's hair thin, um, but more to that, you can put multiple sensors on one single fiber strand. So this um, means that we have not a lot of intrusion into our flow that we're trying to measure. And this is especially useful in this case because the driving forces are very low. So if you put uh, large pieces of metal, for example, as in thermocouples, you might influence the behavior you're trying to measure. We started working on this particular experiment about a year and a half ago. The first step was conceptual design. And then from there, we went into a more detailed design to manufacturing and assembly of the parts. So the next step is to um, do a dry commissioning of the loop. Um, we first run a test without salts in the tanks to make sure our instruments are functioning properly and that um, we have no leaks in the system. So we consider this a dry commissioning because um, the molten salt is not in the loop. So the current salt we're using is nitrate salts and these will take us to about 565 degrees Celsius. After that, we're going to um, look into increasing the temperature of the molten salt storage to something around 700 degrees Celsius, and this will be using chloride-based salts. The current tests for the molten salt storage and the concrete storage and the sand storage are considered bench scale tests. Um, the next step for these um, three experimental apparatus is to go to intermediate scale tests where they can be integrated together because the overall project is an integrated energy system. So we would need both the high grade heat, the medium grade heat and the low grade heat all interconnected together. So in the next step, we'll be looking at the interfaces between um, these three um, storage systems, as well as how they would um, interface with a, a potential nuclear reactor that's built at a megawatt scale. Um, our long-term goal is to develop an integrated energy system that targets um, Canadian needs. So uh, things of concern to us will be um, extreme cold weather that might not be of concern to other people. So we'll be targeting areas uh, within the Canadian landscape, as well as um, working with our international partners in collaborative projects.